you guys were finishing dinner. You guys all retreat back to your uh, your barracks of uh, your varying backgrounds. You all have your rooms um, in separate, you know, kind of uh, guild houses, as it were. Uh, the next morning, you were told that breakfast would be served, and it's kind of a you know come as you want between six and ten because people get up at different hours depending on what's going on. Um, so you would meet back at the mess hall to get breakfast. Uh, we don't need to roleplay that. Um, we'll just say that you guys do or don't. And then I think that there was talk of going to get supplies because you will be uh, leaving in the morning or uh, later that afternoon, depending on how time went. Uh, mm -hmm. um, Flick was kind of waiting for you guys to, to come back so you guys could be outfitted and hang out with the the rangers that they're going to be sending with you as scouts uh, to help uh, guide you guys back to the area where they apparently have lost about four people. And uh, there are rumors that something's going on with a snake cult uh, out in the in Dylan's forest north of town. And uh, yeah, so you've been directed to check out the Petrovita Bazaar which is where you would uh, buy some supplies because internally you don't really have much in the way of uh, of anything special outside of, you know, getting a replacement weapon or, or replacement armor, getting things fixed like that. They don't really keep uh, magical items on hand just to divvy out. And yeah, we'll start there. So you guys wake up and uh, off you go. Tillian has breakfast about eight o'clock. Okay. And then I'll I make my way. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was saying I got up at six and trained a little bit and then went and got breakfast as well. Tom sharpened his knives in the morning. Make sure nice and sharp. Got all his tools together. And then I'll head over to the bazaar and look for any interesting vendors that sell armor, weapons, magic shops. Um, okay. And uh, when it, when we are ready, I'll kind of go through a little bit of what I'm looking for, but I'm also kind of inquiring about anything of interest. Okay. So um, we'll, we'll get to that because I've got a scene set yep. up for that if you feel like, um, you know, mm -hmm. doing that. Um Kel, what uh, do you get up, follow Tillian, or do what do you? What, how do you manage the morning? Yeah, get up, have breakfast. I don't really have much money to go and get supplies, mm -hmm. and I think I'm. I mean, I have armor and weapons and stuff, so. And money's kind of like a weird thing for you to have anyway, because this type of you like you've heard of it, but having a gold coin with a face stamped on it with a person who runs a town as legal tender is kind of weird. Um, you're familiar with what gold is, but you're used to using it for other things, you know, and using it as barter, but in like lumps that you've hewn from the earth yeah. um, in the future time where you come from. So, um, but yeah, you do know that you've got 50 gold. You're not sure what that does. Probably. Yeah, I have no idea how much this is. All, all of you got 50 gold. You guys put that on there, right? For your uh, your guild um, stipend? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure everybody got it. So you get 50 gold every month, like, deposited into your... Um, you, you know, what, what would be considered your account. Yep. And... And we had 10 gold from the last mission. Correct. That never got spent. Yep. Yeah, and, and then anything you had on yourselves. So, unless you spent, you know, he got like some drinks at the thing, but it was only a few silver. Yep. So, uh, Tor, do you, what do you do in the morning? I would like to get up and have a small bit of breakfast and then see, face the southwest and pray and reflect. Loudly in song. No, just quietly, I... Uh, I'm not that gaseous. I mostly do the singing when I'm gassy, so it, it covers it up. You're trying to cover up the, the gas. 
It's, yes, it's, it's, it's embarrassing, but, you know, dragon's born ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Frothy drinks. Um, so... Okay. So, uh, all right. So, do you guys meet together to go to the bazaar, or do you kind of like just show up one by one? Or, like, well, I mean, you guys didn't really plan it, so I'll, I'll let you, I'll give you guys an opportunity to do that now if that's what you were wanting to do. Just stay with Tillian. Yeah. Okay. Brecky, anyway, so why not? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and sell stuff. Flash. Just sell stuff. I'm not, I'm not in a stealing mood this morning. Mm, um, okay. Yet. That's, we got serious stuff to but I do have a lot of loot from the last mission that I'm trying to unload. That I'm not quite sure how the game mechanics of this work. Don't mean to meta game. We just will, uh, not no, sure it's cool. They've, they've, we've got stuff to I sell. This is the time stuff. to do it. <clears throat> All right. So how do I? I have. Well, here's what we're gonna seven, do. One silver chain. Some fancy well, hold on, somewhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're oh, gonna need oh, to yeah. explain that to somebody. Hold on. Oh. I don't want you to. I can't wait. I don't want you to get ahead of yourself. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. Right. Excuse me. Pretty sure he has some meat pies too. <laughs> oh, right. those, have, those have been gone bad. <laughs> but are they still in your pocket? <laughs> I think I dumped them. <laughs> all right. Let me get you guys to. Why don't you guys all drag yourselves over onto the map? Here, you guys all see the map, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. If you can. Where am I? Drag yourselves. It was like center out and then drag yourselves. Oh boy. I don't know why it changes the size Huge. on everybody. It's so stupid. And I don't think you guys get the, the opportunity to change it. Now, the I'm not using the internal grid map, so you're just going to have okay. to use these squares so that it won't snap. Just uh, pay attention to the squares. So, yeah, so... Um, Where is my icon? Your, there you go. Your your icon, what you'll do is on the left hand, on the right hand side, you'll you'll go navigate to the newspaper. your journal. Go to your... Where it has your... Hand, your... um character sheet highlight over your name and drag it over to the left right I think tore you the right size nailed it i think so okay can someone All resize right. me yep i got you thank you so i'm there proportional to the space we are operating. You are proportion. so um you guys haven't really got an opportunity to come to the bazaar much you know where it's at in town you uh you come it's uh there's a hustle and a bustle about it's a little bit past let's say um eight thirty nine. you come in there are some shops that are set up there are people selling you know snacks and and uh various food items of course i need right about that um and then uh and then there's like uh vendors they kind of come and they set up their shops and you see a varying degree of things where there's people selling silks there's people selling um you know, little 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 knickknacks and accoutrements and little handmade things. Uh, there's little kids with like lemonade stands, things like that. And then, of course, there's the main vendors who have you know wares set up. Uh, and the majority of what you may be looking for, you see, you can tell, might be in this area on a long plank platform that has uh, kind of like a bunch of <clears throat> uh, items that are kind of uh, scattered about for you to to look at. Um, you have a platform that you can walk up on to get a closer look, uh, and then you have uh, two two men uh, manning that station that are kind of look like they're they're like handling business with, you know, patrons coming in. Um, there's a few other people kind of walking about, and you are free to to move about and do whatever you want. Excuse me, sir. Oh, yes. Um, what, 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 uh, what do you specialize in as far as oh, wares? Uh, oh, well, well, I'm Henrik Blinsky, and that's got off over there. We are, we are specialize in all sorts of things. What are you looking for, young man? I mean, young man, I'm sorry. Your, your armor was it's very, it's all right. very aggressive. It's all right. Um, so, do you have weapons and armor? Oh uh, yes, uh, you can see some right along here, and he points over to you know one of the the little areas, and uh, there's there's a nice display. You don't see anything out of the ordinary. Um, you see you know some uh, 
they're, they're good quality, but there doesn't seem to be anything that stands out to you. Okay. Um, do you have any, any specialized rapiers, perhaps with a little more oomph in them? Oh, <clears throat> you, you, uh, you want something of a magical nature, yes? Uh, I, I might be interested. <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of those items in stock just as of yet. Uh, I do have someone who procures items of such uh, magnitude, but he, he will not be in here until later in the week. Uh, mm. If you want to check back then, that's fine. That's all right. Um, do you do you have any healing potions? Oh, absolutely. We do. We have many, many healing potions. Uh, and, uh, what kind of how much would you like to rob me of those? Oh, 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 oh I, I am. Take me for oh, a come thief. now. No, no, not a thief. Just uh, advantage of this situation, I would assume. Oh, oh. Well, I... And uh, he looks down at your uh, coin purse, which you would have gotten a coin purse from the guild with the logo on it. And say, I see you're a member of the, of the ZWAT. Is, is that indeed. correct? It indeed. Well, things are 75% off for oh. ZWAT members today. Today only. What, are, they, are they raised 75% before you come in? Uh, that's that's not how it works. No, oh, we, uh, okay. we have a okay. we have a deal that we make with uh, the the leadership, and and we just you know ah. one day a week uh, we we make uh, we make this okay. offering. And and uh, so how much would it cost me for, say, five potions of healing? Oh uh, well, that's uh, twelve gold apiece. Um, <laughs> So I would like five. Do, no, um, I will do three though. Three? Oh, all right. Uh, you would know that this is actually a very freaking yeah, good deal. I know. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm so, aware. Uh, so you you uh you see him kind of rustle around the back of this uh this 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 like wheelbarrow thing, and he's got a bag that he kind of goes into and he pulls three out and he hands them to you, and he uh puts his other hand out too to capture the money. Okay. And I give him 36 gold? Correct. Okay. I'm making the adjustment in my sheet. All right. Yeah, make sure you guys are keeping track of your gold. Yep. I'm good. Um, are these uh, friends of yours? Any points to, you know, Tom's to the right of him and down the other side? He sees Kel. Yes, yes. This is Kel. Um, he may have some interest in some items as well. Oh, excellent! Is that would that conclude your? Yes, that's uh, unless uh, unless I I'll keep my ears open and should I hear anything, I'll let you know. And I tell you what, if you come back later this week, and I have something that you would like, I will maintain the seventy-five percent for you. Oh, interesting. Well, that's very kind of you. And you... I, 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 you told me your name and I already forgot it. I believe it was uh, Henry. Hen Henrik. 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 Yes. Henrik. Okay. Well, thank you, Henrik. I appreciate it. I know you didn't have to uh, come forward with the the knowledge of my uh, ZWT rank, but I appreciate your candor, and um, I'll be here if you need me, but I'm going to let Kel ask some questions. Oh, absolutely. I, uh, very nice to meet you. Well, and you, I'm sorry I didn't get your name. Oh, I'm Tillian. Tillian. Lovely name. Uh, you remind me of something. I can can't quite put my finger on it, but... Oh... It's very nice to meet you. I get that. I get that. Oh, well, well, and he kind of blushes and he like walks away. <laughs> or he walks towards uh, uh, Tom. <clears throat> hey, old man. You trying to buy some stuff? Oh! Oh, I'm trying to... Wait, I'm sorry. Did you say buy? Or um, trade? I mean... I got oh. some... Interesting what do you exotic have? items here. Well, oh, exotic items. Yes, I was actually just talking to your friend here. They, they were looking for items of the exotic. My my exotic vendor doesn't show until later the week. What uh, what do you, what do you have? Uh, I have an uh, interesting to... dagger here with the uh, that I found in a crypt of sorts. Uh, it's uh, a crypt. Hmm. An uh, haunted murder mansion. Uh, and you see him kind of like. Mm, think, think, thinking twice about this this uh, deal, and he says, "Have you been dealing with necromancers?" I didn't deal with any. I just robbed one. 
You robbed a necromancer. Where, where was this a uh, necromancer? Close by in town? Um, no, in an actually. He starts looking around. In an altered dimension. Alter <laughs> I don't know what that means, but. I don't know what it means either. <laughs> um, uh oh. I got a friend oh, that told me that. Through the purple mist, eh? And he like makes a little gesture like he, he you know, he knows what's, he knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I see what's going on here. So this is some sort of a uh, smoking utensil. Uh, oh, let me see. <laughs> it's a, it's the dagger with the rat head skull on it. Uh, oh, my God. Sent him with <laughs> he takes a look at it. Uh, make a deception check. Or deception. Uh, yeah, deception check. Deception. Oh, all right. Got deception. <laughs> I he hands that. it. He says, "Oh, I, I can Jesus. feel the power. Yes, I, oh, this would make an excellent, excellent uh, piece to add to the collection." I, 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 how, how does twenty-five gold sound? How about three potions? Three, oh, oh, sure. two, two, two. All right. I have limited supply. There will be many more. No, no, no come. worries. Two, two sounds reasonable. All right, all right. Now, um, you should be able to do a search in the compendium for a potion of healing, and add those two to your to your sheets because those do have a potion. Of yeah, they, they're do I just drag it on there or what? Yeah, you should just be able to drag it on your sheet and, and it'll add it. Oh yes, okay. And he puts it. He kind of like puts it in his in his pocket, so it sounds like he might be hanging on to this for himself. Excellent, excellent. Still in a profit today. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, uh, I think I have one more. Oh, island. more. I, don't I have know. Um, full of. There's some engraved silverware here, uh, <laughs> and then some one silver <laughs> chain. Is this the, the stuff that you got out of the house? Yes, it okay. is. <laughs> so this is the first time that you've been laid eyes on this since you've uh, left the house. Um, as you pull it out, and he, he gets excited because he's like, yeah, silver, that's 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 mm -hmm. worth, that's valuable. And uh, so you see that it is tarnished and jacked yeah, up and, and really old looking. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and that's not me. That's the module. Okay. I, I'm not that, and to... that makes makes sense. <laughs> I'm trying to dick you over. I'm not. I'm not shocked that that okay. was. Okay. Was gonna happen Good. to that. Just making sure. All right. Get your greedy, grubby hands on stuff. <laughs> but he's, yeah, he uh, looks yeah. at me. He looks at you, and he's like, "Uh, I don't know. All styles are fine. Well, I guess I can't give back the dagger. Um, is there anything else? Um, I do have some spices. Oh. That we took from the kitchen. We were in the restaurant. Um, oh, yes. From, yes. What, what kind we of spice? The, I, gosh, I can't read my own notes, and I don't know. I just, it's fine. I don't think there was actually like a thing. But he, <laughs> he takes a look at he, he does. He swipes that right out of your hand to look at it, and he's like, oh, yes, it's my wife. She, She's an excellent cook, and she's been looking for spices, begging me, begging me to go to the, well, places I'd rather not go to, to procure these. Uh, let's see what do we have here. Salt, pepper, grated garlic. All right. Oh, turmeric. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yes. How how much for this? Uh, one healing potion. Potion of healing. Oh, I I can only give you gold at this point. I I need oh. to save healing potions. I only have five more healing potions for the day, and I. No worries. How about how about, how about five gold? Five gold. All right. All right. Uh, tell you what. I will give you a healing potion. Here. <laughs> and he gives you the healing potion. Right on. Okay. Thank you. I got potions of healing and I got rid of all that crap. Yep. So now you got three of those. Um, uh, anything else? Uh, I'm looking. F I'm in the. Bi I'm in the. In the shopping around for a crossbow, maybe a. Some kind of short oh, sword? Yes, yes. Uh, nothing fancy, yes. Uh, like your friend here wanted something of a magical origin. I don't have any on the lines of that, but I, I do have a crossbow over here. And he points you to, he kind of like, oh shoot, I keep grabbing the wrong, keep grabbing the wrong uh, page. So 
and he like takes you over here and uh, he kind of like slaps on the uh on the table and you hear the the jingle of all of the items on the table and right next to the swords you see a, a crossbow a regular crossbow we have a regular for some enchanted oh i don't have any enchanted items uh for now all right well is it two-handed crossbow uh, or one it's, uh, is it's, it? it's it's a it's a two-handed crossbow yeah one a heavy crossbow all right it's not I a heavy ten. crossbow right no it's not it's a heavy not... crossbow so i'm sorry it's a it's... Light regular crossbow li there's, a, there's regular light crossbows crossbow. it crossbow. requires two hands to load but it's fires one hand right 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 okay that's one hand. okay but a heavy crossbow is like uh, you gotta crank it and yeah heavy crossbow takes and... time you have a load it's yeah. different but this is a regular yeah. crossbow not a heavy one regular crossbow yeah all right i i tell henrik good day and thank you for let me look at your merch Oh well, I'm sorry. Hold, hold on. You, you didn't pay for that. Oh, I wasn't gonna buy it. Oh, oh, oh. You, oh, oh. I, my, I'm sorry. I, I thought we were, and stealing negotiations. Okay. All right. Well, good day. Uh, enjoy the potions, and you know where to find me. Well, thank you. And I, if I change my mind, I'll be back for that crossbow. Excellent. Give Flick the best. <laughs> Uh, and then he walks over towards Cal. Uh, Yusa would, uh, Gandalf seems a bit shy sometimes and he doesn't like to talk, but, uh, I can help you with anything. Uh, so you said you had potion. Oh, oh, did you over here? Are you friends with, with, uh, those two? Yes. Oh, excellent. And, uh, he kind of like sees your, first he sees your, um, your cloak as he approaches um and he recognizes you as uh, some sort of military and then uh he sees your pouch as you reveal oh zwt is double dipping these days i see oh well excellent uh, well i'm sure you know of the discount for your guild um 75 percent off all items yeah you said potions i do have uh four four more uh, healing potions I would like to hang on to at least one for the rest of the day the rest of the day you know I'll take I'd like I'll to jack up the price for now one all right and uh, he runs over there he grabs one he comes out and it'll be 12 gold all right I'll hand him the 12 gold and inside my head Octavio that's a pretty good deal right I am Octavio yes <laughs> I'm Octavio. That is an excellent deal. What? What is he? Is he asking for gold or is he asking for a spit in the hand? What is this? Asking for twelve gold. Twelve, good. twelve gold. God, this is such a good kit. Such a good kit. You can't get two. You can resell this. Good. Yes, there is. There might be some other stuff. You know what I mean? It's very true. I think I'll, you know what? Yeah, I'll get, I'm just, I'm just gonna get one. Just get one? Okay. And okay. he, uh, he, t he, takes the, and hand he takes the 12, 12 gold, puts it in his pouch, and he scurries about. Uh, I don't see Tor near there, so Tor is, uh, looks like Tor is a little bit south. <laughs> yeah, what is, uh, what is Tor up to? I am gradually approaching this hooded figure. <laughs> Because they seem as if they have knowledge. Oh, <laughs> what a what a strong jawline! Ha <laughs> ha Yes. Would you like? Yes. Would you like some pies? Is uh, are you hungry? I have uh, meat pies and uh, yeah, lemon curd pies, and and uh, over there we have some uh, jerky. Honestly, though, my. Uh, mother-in-law makes it it's not so great your mother-in-law has poor <laughs> jerky is that what you're saying keep it down i'm sorry your mother-in-law has poor jerky is what you're saying I, I, yes my mother-in-law has poor jerky but you have delicious pies i have del the best pies a room bless it bless it indeed the, oh um you you your mother-in-law doesn't like go around with pies in a little wagon asking for 
babies, does she? <laughs> oh, she hasn't done that in a while. Babies? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, did you just say babies? I mean, I just... I've, I've traveled a lot, and I've seen many strange things, and I've come across an old evil beast of a woman oh, that does selling sound like pies her. and wanting babies. It sounds like my my mother-in-law. Keep keep it down, though, if she you hears me. You know where the jerky is made. <laughs> I, I don't rightly know, actually, now that you mm. mention it. Uh, babies, you say. Yes, it's a strange place. Anyways, what sort of pies did you have again? Ah, uh, I have meat pies, uh, lamb, lamb, uh, some beef, and uh, also lemon curd for dessert. Okay, uh, what would you say the sack life is for the pies? Sack life, depending <laughs> on the sack, uh, would probably hold for at least five days. We use a lot of mm. baking soda. Excellent. Ex I, uh, how much are your pie? How much for uh, two lamb pies and one lemon? Oh, that'll be, uh, uh, that'll be fif 15 silver? Yes, 15 silver. <laughs> 15 silver. Ah, yes. I shall take those pies. Excellent. Excellent. I'm so glad to have done business with you. And, uh, do come and see me again. And uh, if I, if I find any information out about the jerky, I'll be sure to pass that along. Yes, if, especially if it's veal, but more real, if uh, you get my drift. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. A young, young lamb uh, is a, a euphemism yes. for babies. I see. Okay, well, yes, I'll... Especially I'll, if she swaddles the meat before. Oh, and then she does <laughs> that. Then I you should seen... definitely let me know. Uh, and she has this really <laughs> worried look on her eyes, like that's exactly what happens. And kind of like says, oh, good, good day. Did I, do I Good hear day. this conversation? Um, you probably hear a few, like, back and forth, but you don't get the gist of it. Why don't you do a, uh, uh, let's do, what would that be for, like, let's say. Perception. Per yeah, do a perception check. In the old days, that was a listen check. Oh, my God. Yeah. I think I heard that. Kel heard everything. Your <laughs> days in, in, in silence, complete silence, like, hiding from these uh, people in the future has just given you this super extraordinary hearing and you heard that entire conversation i walk over there oh oh, oh hello yeah uh, would you like to buy some pies or baby jerky apparently <laughs> no i'm sorry baby What's lamb her name? jerky my, my name her name mother-in-law oh my mother my my mother-in-law oh um oh well uh Hold, please. <laughs> <laughs> I had it and I lost it. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, it's, it's not Margantha. Are you looking for, hey, who are you? Hey, you ask a lot of very weird questions. It's a lot of private information. I feel... I just, it's fine. I, well... I, just, I know an older woman. Uh, oh. Margantha. Me too. Who makes oh, no, no. Eyes. No. My, my, my mother-in-law's name is Sarah. Sarah. Yes. Sarah. Sarah. Just like that. Sarah. The... Do you know her last name? Linda. <laughs> Sarah Linda. <laughs> Sarah Linda? Yes. I mean, some people call her that. And... She has a first name, last name, last name, first name. Yes. I know it's weird. Okay. Uh, my... I'm just going to gradually walk off because I'm now <laughs> uncomfortable in this conversation. <laughs> oh, I just uh, never left, but I'm like, okay. Goodbye, uh, uh, dragon man. Thank you. Let me know about that jerky. Uh, wink, we'll wink, we'll wink, do. Wink. We'll do. And she tries to wink, but she can't do it. She doesn't know wah, how. Wah. <laughs> I'm going to walk off with, with Tor. Like, wrong old lady. Toodaloo. And walk back over to this this token that looks mysteriously like her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's too much. <laughs> <clears throat> Hold wait, on. Wait, Hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> What's the sack life? <laughs> She's... 
I need to know these things. I, I want to make sure it's a good investment, or if I need to slather it in seasonings and cooling wraps of my <laughs> goddess Eruman. <laughs> just too funny. Uh, so, no, he's there. Okay. <laughs> let's continue. The man that you uh, walk up next to, he's uh, he seems to have like um clothing laid out, and uh, it seems to be like really nice clothes. So it seems like he's he's kind of um peddling. This dude? No, no, the one that were by uh, Kel. Kel went back over to to talk to this guy that's oh, okay. uh, next to him, and he says, "Excuse me, would you like to buy some silver?" I just had a burp. Sorry, some silk. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Baby. What's your name? M- my name is Octavio. <laughs> and then you you hear the voice in your head, Octavio. His name is Octavio. My other name is Octavio. So okay, so Kel's understanding of Barovia, right, is that it out it exists <laughs> like outside of time, right? Like it outside like, outside of time dimension. and space for all you know. Um it's why it's so special and you didn't require anything special to get out of it, but you needed yeah. something to get there. So would I have the understanding that there are multiple realities? Uh you would probably have that. Um you actually start to notice things you've been noticing it since uh the you've gotten here that uh things kind of blur sometimes for you Mm -hmm. um you get like these like tracers around things and it seems more than just like a hallucination it seems like there's uh you know you see somebody turn their head left and you see their turn their head also turn right but it's faded it's like it's not there and then it disappears like there's things happening at the same time in the same space but you're only seeing what's here and this kind of hallucination starts to take over as uh, Rictavio starts to wave his hands around and he's uh, trying to kind of gather a crowd to try to come buy his wares. Weird. So, so is that a uh, no on the on the silver? Yeah, the the the, 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 the silk cloaks uh, that are for. Uh, this one is 40 silver, this one is 60 silver, this one is... Uh, these are a little higher end. Do you want... Are you looking for something special for the ladies? Or what do, would you like? Do you have any special cloaks? Oh, yes. Oh, uh, cloaks? Well, well I mean, you, these are cloaks? silk cloaks, right? Clo- cl- like, like, your, like your attire of uh, the, the, the surrounding? Yes. yes. Yes, we have, a, we have a few silver cloaks. They are, uh, they are the price is uh, 17 gold. Each, I only have seven. Is there anything fancy about them, or they just look nice? And they, 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 they're just fair. They, the finest silk in all the land. I, I, you know, I have them imported. Uh, I don't sell them often. I'll have to think about it. And then I'm gonna okay. walk away, real confused. Silk cloaks, oh, silk this? scarves. This, this over here. Silk here. Splash some water on my face. I'm Talk to inside my head, Rectavio, like that was you. That was not me, but it was, was me. You? It was me, but it was not me. What has happened? I have I have never sold silk in my life. Why am I seeing double, seeing things happening but not Oh, happening? oh that that is explainable. That it is uh that is just a <laughs> that is from the time shift. You're you're going to experience that quite often. It's going to be a little annoying for a little bit, but uh, it actually might come in handy at some point. Mm. I'm gonna kind of move my hand to control my face and see if I can see myself doing it. Okay. For uh, you you actually you're over by the well. You're trying to splash water on your face, and uh, you actually don't see it on your hand. But then you look down into the well and you see it in the well. Like you're moving your hand left to right, and your hand in the well is going right to left. And it just looks the same, like it's just like a reflection. Yep. That's doing something this is wrong. you. You're just doing it a different way. You're controlling it 100. The complete mimic, but an opposite. Huh. I'm gonna look into my reflection's eyes. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you look into the reflection eyes, the, the I mean, they're just staring back at you, 
but it, it seems like you're in complete control. But as you blink, you do kind of see like a little bit of a tracer, like it's a little slowed down. So it's, uh, it's out of time, out, out of sync with the time. Hmm. It's very weird. All right. Shake it off. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of watch, see what everyone else is doing. Okay. Um, Tillian, what, uh, it looks like you kind of made mosey down, um, in well, that noticed, area. Yeah. So I noticed some people were over here. Did I hear anything as I approached? Were they, um, cat calling any kind of, um, selling of wares of some sort? Um, you uh, do a, do a perception check. We'll see like what you heard when you heard it and how. Oh, okay. Stand by. Do it. Oh yeah. Okay. So as you're coming up, you uh you see a uh, a gentleman, yeah. um, and he looks like he's not necessarily, um, he kind of looks like he's dressed to conceal, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's talking to this lady, and this lady is kind of uh, taking a bag from him, and all you hear is like, "And this is this is all that you have? This is all that you got?" And you hear him say, "Look, this is all they excavated. This is all I found." And then he hands her uh, a pouch that has some uh, items that look like they were too big for the pouch and it's kind of sticking out. And it looks like this black uh, flat slab of obsidian glass. That's what it looks like. Um, and you see her uh, take it and he, uh, he kind of scurries off uh, after he takes a, oh, hold on a second. After he takes a, you know, takes a, a bit of a coin that she hands him. And then he says, nice doing business with you. Same time next week, and he walks off. Uh, she uh, sees you coming, and she kind of like she doesn't make a huge attempt to hide them, uh, but the, she does take a sidestep to her little um, her little stand, and she starts to place some of these items that were in the bag on the stand, and where there were some empty spaces. And she says, "Oh, you here for for the looking glasses?" Um. Yes, perhaps. Can you tell me a little bit about them? I, I just got these. I just got these. Fresh from fresh from the mines, so they've uh, they haven't been cleaned. So I can take care of that for you. But uh, yeah, we're running a very nice special. It's a hundred gold a piece. Um, they I, I haven't tested them, but we've never had any problems with them not working. Um, so what what uh would you like one? Is is, is this uh what is something else you're looking for? Do, I, I'm I may be unfamiliar. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the looking glass? Oh, you, oh, oh, well, these are like, well, apparently they're older models. I, I, I don't know if you're familiar with the ones in the ends that they have now. They're a little thinner, I know, and they're almost translucent. These have the black, uh, you know, opaqueness, obviously. But, um, these, uh, and she kind of touches, uh, one, she like takes, um, like a little, little ways over and she has a small one that's about two inches by two inches and it's got like a little band. So it's kind of like on a, on a, like a wrist, it looks kind of like a wristwatch. And she, uh, she touches it and she starts to try to like swipe at it. And as she swipes at it, she like goes up and down and it's almost like the friction from her finger starts to illuminate something inside of it. And it says, now these don't really do much. They're not collecting any magic from anywhere, but uh, this one, and she's got like a bigger one that looks about the size of an iPad. And she, she starts to rub on that one. And you start to see uh, like these two gladiators like fighting in an arena. And in the in the piece uh, in the in the uh the bigger one yeah okay. she says this one it, it, you know the, the the they don't stay lit very long but they're still rare and they're very valuable i sell them very cheaply you could probably take them to another city and get double the money how um how do you control the woman how do you control what you see oh i i don't it, it just it just picks up whatever is local i mean this is that have you not been into the inns have you not um, you haven't no, seen I any of these spend things? a ton of time in the inns oh okay uh, what about the uh, the bars any um i spend any, a lot of my time taverns? training oh i see well i can i can tell you're very you're in very good shape but i i can tell that you're a uh, your fighter so maybe this would interest you look it's 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 showcasing the the gladiator fights that's going on right now and you see uh a gladiator kind of uh, take one of the other gladiators down and you hear this roar from the crowd. And it's actually the, you hear this crowd roar in real time outside, uh, of the bazaar a little bit down the street. And it seems that the Coliseum is busy. Okay. So, um, I'll, I, so my response to her is, I, you know, I, it may not be for me, but, um, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, tell your friends. 
Sure. 100 gold. Okay, thank you. Yes. Hey, Tom. He might be muted. Hold on. I have pee-pee in his hat. <laughs> <laughs> he's muted. There he is. I think his mic's just not working. Uh-oh. Mike, stop working. Because he wasn't muted. He did for a second. Okay. He's trying to he's trying to get it situated. Hold no. on, wait. Oh, he, he jumped out. Then Tom was lost to a storm and recovered. Um, there he back. is. I'm okay. Back. And he's back. Don't know what's happening with my setup today. Sorry, guys. No worries, man. Um, yes. Yes, Tillian. Um, just going to give you a bit of information. Do you don't look directly, but you see that um, young lady over there with the the cart that has some flat pieces on it. Do you see it? Yes, I see it. Okay. Um, she is selling looking glasses, and apparently they're um, she's retailing them around a hundred gold. Um. Yes. If, if one should go missing, l let us know. Yes. A wink, a wink, and a wink. I, I will let you know if one goes. It'd All be right. great if I had a loud talking dragon to help run interference while I um, investigate I, the you, wares. You, you probably don't even have to ask him. Just get. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, I, I, are you interested in doing it now, or do you want to come back at a later time? Nah, I'm, I was going to check out what this guy with the monkey shoulder has, but I'm going to go ahead and that sounds much more fun than what I was doing. So yeah, let's take oh, a stroll. Okay. Um, Tor. Yes, yes. Do you see that young lady over there at the cart selling um, these... Um, well, she's got flat pieces over there. But from what I understand, you may be able to um, magically speak with other people in other locations, perhaps even your god. What? Yes. Oh, goodness. Thought you might be interested. <laughs> you bolts over there. <laughs> Yo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Greetings. Oh God! Hello. Oh, she's so loud. So I, I, I pull up. Hang on. I pull up. I pull up next to Kel. <laughs> Kel. Yeah. What? You're gonna want to watch this. Okay. Okay. And Kel, as you look over, you see Tor and Tom um, arrive. <clears throat> and uh, well, here. Let me. Uh, uh, let's do this first. Uh, Tom, why don't you? Are you trying to swipe one of these? I am. Yes. Okay, why don't you do a slide of hand check? <clears throat> all right, my favorite skill. And I'll let you do it with advantage all bit. I don't need advantage. I don't wow. need advantage. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I was going to say, like, he was, he's was he got her distracted, so... Um, I was just hedging my bets, yeah. Right, right off. <laughs> Boom. Because I kind of wanted to see this happen, so... um. Cool. So yeah, you you grab uh you grab the biggest one that's there. It's about the size of an iPad. <laughs> you just shove it right in your bag, no problem. Turn about face. His sack was big off. enough. And as Tom is walking away, <laughs> Kelly, you see Tom walking towards you, but then you also see Tom still back at the oh. the the um the stand, the stand, and he's getting caught. And like somebody's pointing at him, and it's like seeing, but you don't hear them. You just see them pointing, and they're like making a bunch of, of like racket with their well, not racket, but like you know, a bunch of movement with their mouth, like they're they're telling on him. But you don't hear anything, and then he kind of ghosts out as like you see like these these uh, troops kind of come in, these like little you know guards come around the corner, and uh, they fade out and they disappear. All of that disappears, and uh, the 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 lady. Is now still no? You just see the lady talking to Tor as Tor is just blurting out his 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 vocals all over her face, <laughs> and she just looks terrified. I hear that you have 
Oh. Looking glasses that can speak to gods, <laughs> and I have a god. Do you, do I you have gold? speak with on a regular basis. I, of course, have you gold. Have hundred, do you have what I see? A uh, hundred gold? We'll, we'll get you one of these. I, I, I don't know about talking to gods, but it definitely picks up on magical sources, and it's not impossible outside the realm of possibility. I, Ariel Winchester, that is a, an expensive price. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, it, you know, there's not a lot left of these. Uh, they're older models, and uh, they're kind of going you know for a lot of money so it's it, it's an old school model you're saying yeah but if you would got a new one one you couldn't find it it's synthetically made it's not as good they're they're not cheap um and there's not that many of them there's there's a fewer there's a few more of these but they're smaller um they're 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 kind of glitchy sometimes they work sometimes they don't it depends on what's going on no one really understands how they work they just kind of showed up uh you know in in the in the mines and we found a few of them out in the stinking pits um you know that but but um i think we've we've kind of salvaged all that we can but but please just are, are you gonna buy one or but, uh, uh, before i'd make my decision uh, hold one up in front of me and like describe it to me as if okay. I couldn't see it um, because I want to be able to hear it with my mind's Oh, eye. I see. Okay, so you don't want to look at the looking glass. Okay, got it. Okay, so and she like exactly. grabs she grabs the dirty one that she just got. That's like it's big and it's it's not hewn, so it's not pretty. And she like holds it up to you and she says, "All right, um." <laughs> Is it's it, big, are you holding it up? It's long, it's dark, and it's uncut. <laughs> Some would say that about my tail. Now, describe the device that you're holding. That doesn't. Eh, that, that's what it, what I'm holding. It's like it's like it's like a very Is it smooth. Tubular? It's a, Is it no, like a it's like a slate. It's like sorts. a square slate. It's it's slick on one side and rough on the other. And, and uh, it's got some dust on it. Oh. And we wiped it off for you. And she takes like her apron. She kind of like, rubs it down, and she's. You know, um, and Kel, as you get up, you approach, you see what's happening, but you also see Tor fall down on his knees and he like, looks like he's got his hands up prostrate straight in the prostrate, <laughs> prostrate in the air. Like he's praying, like he's found something that he's looking for and then he disappears. Um, and, uh, yeah, but, um, he, he's just got his eyes closed and she's, you hear this young lady explaining to him what, what she's holding in, his, in her hands as she's pointing it at him. So she, t that's, I mean, she gives you the best description she possibly can. It, it's, it just looks like black obsidian that's been kind of uh, not damaged, but the edges look a little rough. They haven't been cut. Um, it, it's literally like looking at a, a black plate that's uh, been glassed over on one side. And she explains Spice. it to you as such. It does sound magical and it does sound like it'd give me vast amounts of knowledge at a swipe of a hand, but... Do you open your eyes? I don't need to open my eyes. <laughs> you don't need to open your eyes because you actually see through your eyelids and you actually see the item as she's describing it to you. And as Kel gets closer, he see now sees you do the exact thing that he saw you do earlier as uh, you're struck with this overwhelming sense to get on your knees and pray to your god as you see a face that resembles what you've always imagined your goddess looking like in the looking My glass. God. It's like me, but beautiful. <laughs> She's sitting there holding holding a plate of pancakes. <laughs> and she's like, oh, Tor. Tor, you're such a good <laughs> servant. And Ariaman. So good to see you. Oh, it's so nice to hear your voice. I love it when you pray to me. How? How is this possible? It's like a direct conduit. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. Your face seems to be fading. I don't know. No. I pray. And she like. I pray as <laughs> much as I can. <laughs> she fades into the into the look, looking glass. But that's what you saw. Through your eyelids. No eyes. Open. I. I. I need to go speak with my friend real quick. <laughs> oh, okay. And she takes the, the piece and puts it back on the... Go for Tom. Tom! Did you steal extras of those? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Tor, you didn't know he was doing this. Can, can you uh, do a perception check from earlier? 
I've got a DC in mind. Okay. Uh, I would say you did not see him do that. So maybe you're just making an accusation. You don't know that that's Well, what I saw saying. him appear behind her, you know, being his Tom self. His Tom Fullery. His Tom Fullery. Uh, you'll, have, you'll have to ask Tillian about that. I gave it to her. Interesting. Since she asked for it. Where did she go? Oh, there she is. Do I recognize these? <laughs> like uh, so why don't you do a why don't you do your own little why don't you do an investigation check? Real real good those. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> you did you did two of them. Oh. Oh, he did do two shoot. I think. Yeah, I was gonna say, oh dang it. Well there goes plans I had. That's a, but you, your first one we're gonna go with that. Um, I'm the best DM ever. <laughs> Ask anybody. Okay, so uh, you recognize something about them. Um, you're not used to seeing them in such small, uh, broken down pieces. You're used to seeing them really large, but um, you've only seen them. You don't know what they do. You've never had any kind of like, you know, they're more like ornamental. Like it looks like something that seems like something that's ornamental from your time okay so th did i hear the explanation that sh that she had given about like they pick up magical sources um did you were you moving over there at, before that time because uh, if so why don't you do a i was just uh, watching do a perception check oh man you hit it right on the, okay yeah so you did hear that you did hear the information that she was uh, giving to Tor. So could I? She was would yelling. my character with a twelve intelligence be able to piece together the reason I never saw anything on them? It's because of what had happened in the future concerning mm, magic. Um, I would say no. Okay. Not at this time. You couldn't piece something like that together, so. Because hmm. you've never seen them do that, and you've never talk, ha, heard anybody talk about it like that, so. You just recognize the material, is all. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point at one and just ask, but can I pick one of these up and look at uh, it? Sure. Yeah, I mean, how does this thing work? Which one do you grab? There's a, one that looks like a wristwatch. There's one that looks about the size of an iPad, the smaller iPad, because the bigger one's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the the uncut ones to the right of that or to the left of that pick up the same one that this tour okay so the tour had like the uncut one so as soon as you touch it it actually um it starts to sting a little bit it kind of hurts and you see like these little um vibrations kind of come out of your fingertips and turn into electrical like little tiny lightning bolts one might say and uh reaches into it and it fully charges up and it starts to shake and it's just a what? bright white light. And she's, she kind of steps back. Oh, oh. Uh, And the longer you hold on to it, the more it hurts. I'm just going uh, to kind of freeze up for a second. Like, what the fuck is happening? We'll look at her. And notice that she's also very confused. And then put it down. Fuck. Okay. You put it down. And uh, you realize that she doesn't seem to be phased and is not standing where she was whenever you picked it up and had that reaction you don't feel bad you don't remember feeling bad other than like like a faded memory um and it's almost like uh it didn't happen and she says well are you gonna are you gonna try one out or hmm i want to pick up the small one of the other ones the small one like yeah. the like the Okay, uh, you pick that up and, uh, and nothing happens. <laughs> hmm. How does this thing work? Uh, I mean, nobody really knows. We just know that they do work. The newer models seem to have some sort of trigger that's built in, but the, you know, Mako company that was, you know, the, the tower over there, they, they handle some of that stuff. So I'm not sure. Nobody really knows. It's a little bit outside of my wheelhouse. Hmm. Kind of look, you know, 
turn it around in my hands and then brush my palm against like you know the front of it okay you feel like a static charge but that's it weird huh and what do you know about that one like the, the big uncut one um just you... that they came from a mine uh most of the other ones came from the stinking pits but we haven't seen any come out of there for about a year or so uh some the smaller ones a lot of people don't really want them they want the bigger ones for you know kind of like you know pieces in their house or like you know conversational pieces they they usually don't work too well unless there's a big event going on and then occasionally they kind of you know activate I'm a, okay, so I know that Tor is like, or do I know like what like general purpose each member of our party has? Uh, like, yeah, you can probably like from being around um, and having to study the thing, the magical things, the different types of magic and why people, why they were being hunted down. Um, you would, and after visiting the ZWT area, you would kind of have known, you would have heard the, the word cleric um, and the word rogue and the word uh you know and then obviously a fighter uh, you would know that these things are what they are because of the places that you've been to while being with them at the zwt guild house i want to try to call out to tor hey tor, tor can you come come over here help hmm. me out for no, yes well... yes uh i'm gonna kind of like whisper to him I don't know what's going to yes. happen, but I might need some help. Radio. Okay, and then what sort of help? Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. And then okay. I'm, I'm going to pick up you know, the, the dark one. And just hold it. And just... Oh, the, the one that you picked up first? Or you tried to pick up first, but it seemed like it didn't do anything? Yeah. Well, the one that, yeah, that I don't remember doing. Mm-hmm. Um, you pick up the, the, the big piece and you kind of, what do you do with it? Same thing I did before. Okay. Like, like the faded memory. I'm just like, mm -hmm. oh. so you're just trying to recreate the memory. Nothing happens. Weird. Huh. That's, are you trying to sell it to me? Because the other, the, the, the female tried. So, I mean. If you, if you came back from the future just to sell items. I'm sorry. What was that? I, I, I think you have a new intern. Me? Yes. Wait, where? It, well, he's trying to sell this, isn't he? Just put it back. Oh, no, no, no. He's just, he was just curious. He was looking, he was looking at my wares and, um, oh, are you going to yes, buy something? Yes. Are you guys going to buy something? I mean, I, you know, I don't mean I to like. I'm sorry. Am I holding up the line? No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's just, you know, you're kind of attracting the wrong crowd. I don't really want it to be around and. Oh, are you looking for geniuses? Wait, I mean, you, this, you know, some might call this a genius bar, but it's not uh, with obvious exactly people around. She's looking at him. Me? Yeah. <laughs> you seem a little, you, you seem a little out of it. Leave this, leave this sales individual with her prisms of blankness. <laughs> you hear the Tory blank. Tory. You hear the pitter patter of feet coming up behind you. It's a uh, uh, Tor. Um, I, 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 uh, I didn't get your name earlier, but I just made it up. Um, my name is Mary, and uh, I, I found out. I confirmed it's definitely not baby. <laughs> it's de it's definitely not baby. It's so, not baby jerky. It's not baby jerky. But I don't want it here, okay. and I don't want my mother in law to dip into my funds. So can you take this? And she took, she like shoves like two handfuls of this jerky into your hand. And then she's Ooh. like, thank you very much. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye. And she like, Cheers. Like, yes, yes. But then like, yeah, these things are pretty blink. And I'm gonna start walking away. <laughs> but this Much like a saleswoman. And then just keep moving. Okay. That lady's kind of, as I, I say to Tilly. <laughs> that lady what? She's kind of mean. Mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, can you, you not handle somebody who's mean? I mean, it just, just didn't seem necessary. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Are we ready to go? <laughs> Tillian, what's what's the, with the the glass? We'll talk Why later. Why did I? We'll talk later. What's the guy with the monkey selling? Anybody know? Maybe the monkey? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, the, oh, the guy. Anyway, <laughs> I was like, there's no monkey. What are you talking <laughs> about? I saw him spanking. What earlier. is that thing? Oh, it's just this. It's, it's a, a monkey profile on picture. It's shoulder. a profile picture. Yeah. Right. He, he does have a monkey. Sure, we'll say he's got a monkey. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. I, I, I'll ask. I'm like, hey, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> what is your human cell? <laughs> You hear the monkey yes. like crying out and like kind of runs around and then like jumps up inside of his like big giant pseudo chef hat that he's got. He's just kind of a big uh, pot bellied man um, with a mustache, handlebar mustache, and he's like, "Oh, you, 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 you want Blinksy? I, I'm sorry. I'm you, sorry. Want, you want Blinksy? Blinksy? <laughs> Blinksy? You want Blinksy? Is that some sort of?" What the, what sort of thing is that? Blinksy, Blinksy, and Henrik like comes over and he's like, oh wait, 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 don't rile him up, okay? He just wants to show you what he makes, okay? So sometimes I let him hang around here and he helps with cells because people feel sorry for him, but he he makes like toys and then he pulls out like this chest. He's like, Blinksy, and he like holds up these uh, little dolls. That's time creep. And they're kind of like like handmade dolls some of them are made out of wood some of them are made out of like they got like little clothes and stuff but they, they're really nice looking um for, much, for somebody making much, them by hand how much for tinksy oh, blink blinksy the old blinksy in he's like he calls them all blinksy they're they're all the same they're, they're just they don't have names they're just little dolls and he's like blinksy blinksy and um who all goes over there uh tillian's over there so Okay, so as whoever's around him, like he's pulling them out, he's like, into Blinksy, into Blinksy, and he like starts pulling one by one uh, these dolls, and he kind of lays them out like he's showing you his uh, collectibles collection. Uh, you know, his, his his Star Wars collectibles toys. And uh, and he starts uh, pulling out dolls, and one of them looks like Tom's brother. And so you immediately recognize that as you come out. As he comes out with that, if you're around Tom, I am around. Okay, the other but one looks like the. Go ahead. What's that? Go ahead. So he's pulling these out, and you you guys all recognize these uh, these dolls. They kind of look like people that you've had some sort of a dream about before you met Kel. Okay. And uh, yeah, so like it's just he's putting them all out there, and they kind of re re remind you of of something. How you much know, for one of these? A uh, three, three silver. I hand him a gold, and I take the <laughs> oh, one that looks much, like too familiar much. To no, no, too it's okay. Oh, he'll get. And he gives you, he scoops all of them up, and he hands them to you. He, he gives <laughs> you all of them. Oh, all right. He gives him all of the gold, and he like he like looks at the gold piece, and he bites it, and you know he like does that little, that whole mm -hmm. bit. Okay. He's like, okay. Blinksy, Blinksy, and he kind of like. Starts to. You did good making blinksies. He's confused. Okay. It's like blinksy, blinksy, and he like holds up his gold coin. And he runs off like he's going to a tavern. All right. Um, anybody else have anything else to do? Yeah, I'm gonna buy the last two of those potions. <clears throat> I want to check uh, out the clothing guy selling, Rotavio. Okay. Like, you, hey. want, uh, you want silk scarves, silk cloaks, silk shirts, silk underwear? I'm looking for I'm looking for a good cloak. Cloaks, yeah, seventeen gold. Glo good, good. Uh, let me see. Uh, I say seventeen. Yes. Um, I have, I have, I have one just, just to make for you. Yeah, he pulls out this one that looks, uh, it's like a charcoal gray. And it's got like some uh, little, a little bit of yellow thread in in different places. That's uh, casually placed little yellow buttons. Okay. Does it do anything special? Oh no, these are not the they're not the uh, the magical type. This is just a very fine cloth. You know, they, you wouldn't want to make a statement when you walk into a room. And here it is. I'm Rick Tavio. Is... <laughs> Does it? Is it waterproof? Does it? Oh yeah, it's waterproof. 
dust proof. Uh, someone says that the uh, lightning will not strike you with this one, but I, I, I cannot confirm other than I this. I don't want to sell you something that's not true. <laughs> How much did you want for it, old man? Uh, 17 gold. Seven. How about 12? Oh, 12 gold. He looks around, he doesn't see anybody around. He's like, okay, don't. if anyone asks you, you tell them that you paid 17. Full price. All right. Okay. All right. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve gold. Yes. All right. All right. I will. He takes take it. That. He ex exchanges it. Exchanges it. Twelve gold. Hands it to you. Adjust my sheet. Yup. And it's just, you don't even. I mean, you can just know that you have it. It doesn't do anything for you otherwise, other than yeah. the aesthetically. So. Yeah. I like. So I'll use it as a pillow. Okay. Cool. Um. I like to buy things. I might be able to trade it later. Who knows? So I give him 12 gold. Okay. Uh, so it's getting a little later in the afternoon. You guys know that you were kind of expected back before dinner um, at the latest. You have a little bit of time to go back into the barracks to, to make any final adjustments, put things away, clean anything up, wash your face. Mm-hmm. Cool. Tillian Talk goes back. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to find out what Tillian wanted with that thing. All right. So we will. Dinner time. Dinner table. Lunch table. Cafeteria. You guys. Uh. Yeah. You can go to the. Can you. You can. We can fast forward to dinner. Or you can have a conversation outside of the. Bazaar. The the guild the guild uh, house. I mean, up to you. Whatever, whatever you guys want to do. I don't want to. Oh, I got you. I I want to talk to Tillian. Either with the group or privately about okay. what I had to lift from that lady and what what she knows about it. Because okay. I didn't ask any questions; I just did it. That's so let's rogue. let's I say that you guys are walking back into the Zero War Training Guild compound uh, towards your respective areas. Um, it's kind of a uh, people are kind of taking their afternoon siestas, taking naps. They're out on on patrol, doing their missions. Um, you. Uh, you see Calador uh, go into, uh, as you guys are making your way through, um, you see him go into the main ZWT guild house. It seems like he's going somewhere in a hurry, probably has a meeting to get to. Um, and you guys can come come to your uh, little, little kind of like a picnic area or, or, or someplace secluded you can find if you want to do that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I tap Tillian on the shoulder and ask her what's deal so I, it's a hunch um it, it's interesting that they would be selling these extremely valuable items in um in a open environment like that and um it's one it's not often we come across something like this two obviously we don't have really the money to pay for it but if we need to, we can sell it. If it, we get in a real bind, um, I think there's a lot to be said here for having this. And I couldn't, I kind of took a leap of faith, if you will. And thank you for taking a leap of faith with me, Tom. Hey, you don't have to ask me to steal stuff twice. It's what I do. <clears throat> All right. Well, I guess we can uh, get and going I'll, then. I'll, and if I'll, that was the purpose. I'll let Tor and, and, and Kel know as well. Just want to make sure I wasn't missing out on something extra. No, not not at this time. It just it felt like we needed it, um, but I don't mm -hmm. know yet for what. I'm all about instincts. It's what rogues do. So by all means, if it felt right, then go ahead and do it. So as we, when I get an opportunity, I let um, Kel and Tor know, um, with their experience being different with it, I, they may question more. I don't know. That's up to oh. them. Yeah, you guys. He's. I also. Uh, Go ahead. Oh. oh, I wanted to ask Tillian for that doll that resembled my brother. Oh yeah, I absolutely. I give it to him. Okay. Do you? Uh, what do you do with the rest of the dolls? Uh, for now, they're still in my bag. 
Okay. So, yeah, Tom, um, you recognize this as the visage of your, the, the image you saw in that dream that you felt was like your brother. Mm-hmm. He's wearing the same clothes, same colors. Um, it's a fairly articulate doll, um, mm-hmm. or we, let's call it an action figure. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, full, fully, uh, outfitted with, um, clothing a uh, little little like like some leather armor and uh, a little a rapier so um interesting <sighs> how many points of articulation uh 26 <laughs> <laughs> i mean i don't know what you guys are mean. <laughs> Um, a little rubber band I, in the middle and twist around. I'm just kidding. I, I, I study the doll and then I, or I, or figurine, excuse me, and then yeah, I yeah. Uh, place it in my, in my, yeah, this one. It brings your own thing, Pager. Uh, and then I put it, and I put it in my bag to, okay. uh, yeah, get later. Okay. Um, your, uh, special friend, uh, immediately goes into your bag and like, oh, to me near, near, near it. Interesting. So, okay. Uh, you guys are all together then at this point. Um, at this little kind of picnic area, like a little courtyard set, like such a section in the compound. And, uh, and you hear this, this, uh, voice from across the way. Hey, you guys. <laughs> and, uh, you look over and you see, you see this, like, very thin gaunt looking silhouette kind of like running towards you and uh a a flap like f- kind of like bouncing up and down in, in the back it's almost like they don't have a head and uh he walks over and says oh oh no oh, this is so embarrassing hold on a second and, like kind of put fashions his hood over his face again like does some tie downs and stuff it's like you know problem being a construct is sometimes you don't feel the wind am i, no, am I, I here I, right I, now what I don't, yeah you're there you guys are all there very like openly uncomfortable right now <laughs> oh yeah oh, oh, what's wrong what's wrong did you guys go to the bazaar did you did you eat the jerky did you eat the jerky why is that what, what happens happened? if you eat you, the you got an itch right what happens if you eat the jerky oh, oh nothing it's just like some some guys were complaining about it it makes them all itchy Itchy. Is this is this Kendall? Yeah, we're yeah talking this is, so you recognize this as Kendall as after he puts his uh, hood back okay. up. He's like, he's, uh, situated. It. He's like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so are you guys ready or what? We're gonna we're gonna go tonight. Or we're gonna go in the morning. What's uh what's the deal? Yeah, I think we'll go in the morning. Yeah, morning. Yeah. All right, sounds good. It's about a day travel, so we'll get to get to camp on the road, be out with the boys, hanging out, and the girls. Sorry, uh, and uh, you know. Figure speech and all that. I'm not a massage. Um, so <laughs> I'm a you, you're not you, even uh, a man. I, I'm, I'm not even. <laughs> yeah. That's very true. <laughs> you got that right, sweet. Uh, Excuse almost me? said something else. Sorry. Don't <laughs> please, please don't set me on fire. All right. Um, no, I'm gonna anyway, do something else. But I well, also, also none of that, please. Okay. I apologize a thousand times. It's okay. It's okay. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. I'm a product. Of I've my... lived in the barracks. It's I, fine. I, I, I'm giving I you a hard time. I just don't want to be that guy. You know, I don't want to be that person. I just want to be. I want to be a good, good. Uh, 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 I slap him as he's Ow. stumbling. Oh. So you see, you, 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 like some hay, like flies out of him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> As you, as you kind of nudge him and you smack him he's like oh, oh man all right i'm gonna pretend that hurt but i don't i don't feel it but you know anyway well whenever you guys are ready uh after you've done stuff in your gullets and uh all that we'll uh i'll, I'll be waiting for you with uh i think solomon and uh, vlora they're gonna take point they're gonna be ahead of us a little bit so i'm gonna be your traveling companion they're gonna get up ahead just in case make sure the the road's safe but uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. I haven't been on a mission in a while, so. Okay. For obvious reasons. What What do you mean, obvious reasons? Uh, you know, just, uh, head kind of falls off sometimes. <laughs> like, anyway. like, like when? Like right now. Did you not see me? I, I saw, mean, but it's, 
it, it does it get knocked off or <sighs> people just don't like it you know it's not like i'm ineffective as a fighter i hope not no it's not in, in fact i don't even have to sleep so oh i so can stand like, god i'm actually really good oh. at standing god i can stand god all night i do like that get it's a, real good it's real good I don't get a good night's sleep very often right yeah that's what i'm saying Okay, well, we'll see you in the morning. Benefits. Yeah. All right. Me and you. Me and you. Tomorrow. Here we go. Me, you and us. Yeah, me, you, you, all, everyone all at us. this yeah. in this vicinity. Yeah. Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. Get good sleeps. Yeah, we're saying the same thing. Yeah. It, yeah. Okay. okay. Follow okay. Kendall after he leaves. Some follow. And then mm -hmm. I wanna, I'm going to talk to him. Hmm. Oh, hey, you're the new guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what? Question, what are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Wait, what am I? What, you said construct. I mean, what does I'm, that mean? I'm a member of the ZWT. What are you? What? I mean, like, physically, what are you? Oh, oh, I'm it's sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I get I get a little defensive sometimes. People like to poke fun and, you know, whatever. Um, I'm a... Uh, okay, so technically, on paper, I'm a scarecrow. All right. And he kind of like opens up his uh his his armor and he shows you and he's got he's basically burlap sack and there's a few like areas where it looks like somebody stabbed him a couple times and you see, and he like kind of opens one of those up and you see hay like a stuffing huh yeah sometimes i gotta go stuff myself depends on uh what i'm doing you know i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm probably gonna probably gonna go do that tonight actually huh stuff myself up you know and he's uh and he like knocks his uh his arms and you hear like the sound of wood knocking on wood <laughs> so like don't take this the wrong way but how are you alive well all right well this comes up from time to time and uh so i was a member of the zwt beforehand i'm actually about a uh, hundred years old yeah give or take um and uh you know i had just joined we went out on our first mission i we got we ran into some night hags they cursed me i uh I, I went in to save my friends they got one of them poor jimmy uh and then they they you know they did they did what they did and uh, they bound my soul to a scarecrow in the fields luckily my brothers were around and were able to take care of things and you know they saw me i cried out for help and uh and here i am oh all right then you know sometimes the kids they point and the stare and it hurts but i i, I make do all right. Guess we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. You and me. I mean, us. All of us together. Potty time. I'm going to bring snacks. Wait, you, you guys still eat snacks, right? I mean, yeah, but wait. You Definitely not jerky, though. I feel like you're avoiding the question. Oh, wait, what, what, what am I? I told you. Do you eat? Oh, do I eat? No, no. I, I, see, I don't have I don't have stomach. I don't have anything anymore. There's, a lot, there's some pros and cons to this, all right? I don't have to sleep. I don't have to eat. I don't have to breathe. But, uh, you know, so you I don't like, like fire at all. You just bring snacks. Uh, I mean, I got a lot of pot. <laughs> a lot of pot. So you do it like, you know, so people like you. I mean, my whole left arm is just full of snacks. Huh. Pulls out some raisinets. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he tries to pretend. He tries to fit in. He tosses one in his face, but it bounces right off because he doesn't have a mouth. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> All right. But uh, I'm good to go. Don't worry. My aim is true. So are my words. Good. Very, very good. All right. Bye. All right. See, See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Walk away. <laughs> he runs off. <laughs> I feel better about that. 
That's good. <laughs> All right, I go get some food. Okay, yeah, it's about it's about a uh, supper time. You hear the ding ding. You uh, you guys go eat. Um, you it's much the same atmosphere as it was the night before. You guys um get your food. Um, uh, Chow is uh on Flick and everyone all the uh guild leadership is is there except for those that you you know are, are missing um scale front the one that you're after uh up up in the uh dylan forest dylan 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 forest dylan. and uh yeah <laughs> um so yeah so you're you finish up eating uh you're free to go to sleep and then uh morning comes You guys specifically are, are woken up at about 6 a.m. Collectively by your by your leadership and brought to the guild house. And in the foyer where Flick is, he kind of, uh, him and Kalidor, they're, they're both there. As well as Brio, uh, all the leadership, they kind of uh, wish you well. They, uh, they're talking to Solomon and Vlora as they're already packed up and ready to go. And they actually head out. Um, and Flick comes to you and says, all right, I can trust you to do this, right? Yes. This is, this is pretty important. I feel like you've got what it takes. Can't spare any other men or women. Kind of want to keep this under wraps. This is a test of your loyalty. We have it. All right. I trust that you do. Kendall will be your guide. He's going to meet up. He knows the signs. He knows the way. You guys travel north. It'll be about a day's travel before you come to the fork in the road. Head on to the excavation site. Watch for anything. Keep an eye out. Stay safe. Will do. You as, a, you as well. Hey, Flick. <laughs> I'll be back. I hope so. I need to get a taste of that ass. What? Huh? What? You thought I didn't hear that, did Bottoms you? Bottoms up. Yeah, he winks at you. Flick my tail. I. <coughs> Turn around. He's just rolling with it. It's like, hope that isn't the last joke that I hear you tell. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right, so what? Yeah, so we're on like, the road. Need you to get on the road with on a quickness. The road it's again. a terrible time. Before we go, I'm actually I'm gonna ask him if he's done with the book. Oh, oh. Uh, so the he, book. yes, good call, good call. Um, he actually does. He uh, he produces that from behind. He says. There's a lot of interesting information in here. I'm giving it back to you because I'm a man of my word. But we're going to need to talk about this when you get back. There's some things in here that don't match up. I'm not sure where you got this information, but this isn't... This wasn't all written by Skjolfra, and I need to know who wrote it. So, it's yours. I'm returning it to you. I've recorded the things that uh, made a copy, as you will. Okay. Talk about it's, it when we get back. it's yours again. We'll speak about this later. Of course. You'll be safe. And uh, he kind of like shoes you out of the, the house. You guys, uh, you guys take off. Um, there was about a four hour difference between when Skilfra and um, and Solomon would have uh, gotten on the road ahead of you because they were on horses. And they can't. Uh, spare any more horses so we're walking you're gonna be walking okay it's safer yeah, that way on north, the streets huh? mm-hmm. so you guys are heading north okay which is towards the ocean 
No, no. Well, I mean, you're going out into the like. So if you were to look at the map, you go out into the left. So you're gonna. I'm sorry, you're gonna go south. I forgot. South. The stupid, oh yeah, I'm, the stupid. No worries. I was just like. So it's so weird, you know. Whenever they make these maps like this, I don't understand why they do that. It's like, dude, just build it. Whatever. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Just design it so it makes sense to everybody everywhere. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna forego the the cardinal directions of this. <laughs> Here, we're going to say west is north right now, okay? So we're going to go north of town. You're going to go back out the way you guys came in, but you're going to take a little bit of a side skirt and head to the right <laughs> near the stinks. <laughs> okay? All right. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, God. All right. Sorry. I just want to make sure I'm like... No, no, no. You are I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We had a big deal about last the game, and now it's just gone. <laughs> so we'll deal with that later, okay? So that, anyway, is, I'm using, that would be north. I, I'm using I a free map that I got. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I just want to make sure that that I'm my my, all, my notes all make yeah, sense because no, everyone's right. staying north, and I'm like, there must be a plateau so, so where I get to bury, yes. get more land, and then there's going to be a forest. Got it's, it. It's a, uh, it's west <laughs> of town. Got it. That is, and but that see, would in, be. But see, in this world, the. <laughs> The axis west, is west, west and is east, north. So yes, I got it. Got that it. makes okay, cool. The, yeah. yeah, fantasy. Yeah. Yes, that right. and that to me plays. That okay. tracks. There you go. <laughs> that now you go. Oh, that Just tracks. Us four, right? I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry. What was that now? It's just the four of us traveling. The ones that got so ahead. it's Kendall, you, Kendall, you guys, and Kendall. And oh, okay. Kendall is kind of taking you up there because you, as far as Flick knew, and the, your training is gone, unless you're from there in your backstory, which nobody knew about this at that time. Um, no, nobody's from this area, and it's safer to have a guide who knows the the area and how to get there. Okay. So, uh, we will. You guys are traveling on the road and you travel all day um you don't really run into anything there's nothing of note um if there's a conversation you guys have you can have that we can role play that if you'd like but we'll say that we fast forward to the evening um and it's about you know it's getting getting late into the evening it's about nine ten o'clock it's probably about time to you know that the for, kindle alerts you to that the fork of the road is coming up soon and it'd probably be best to to um you know camp for the night before going on because once you reach there he's not you know he's familiar with it through maps and he's really good at tracking so he can navigate but he's not been to those places um kendall is a rogue by occupation correct kendall's a ranger ranger no he's also scarecrow yes he was a ranger he was recruited okay. by the ZWT, and he, um, whoops, hold on, music went away. Da, 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 music? Yes. Not the music. The music, yes. Nothing I current. Before. I just don't remember what game it was in. What? This map, I've was used it? this one before. This yeah, map, it it's Zelda. like a generic, it's a generic, like, jungle map. You're so. playing Zelda. I was playing Zelda. Oh, it does kind of look like Zelda, yeah. For Nintendo. You're playing for Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you guys would be down at the bottom down here. This is, uh, or actually, you know, where are we? Like, I'm not sure where you guys are, what you guys see. Do you guys see the map? Is everything good? Obviously, yeah. Kel says it, sees it. Is that so Kendall's token this is Kendall's, there? That yeah, that's Kendall's funny. token. Yeah. That's actually quite funny. Uh, yeah. Oh, do I need to bring myself over? I need to bring myself over. Yep, yep. Bring yourselves over because what happens is when I copy and paste, we and I bring you guys yeah. over, it any Kill changes that you've made Whoa. to your tokens, it uh, it won't it won't record them. So. Tor yeah. smash. All right, that should do. Boom. Okay, so and then. I don't see Jillian. I'm yeah, we're telling it. Oh, hang on. Okay. No worries. So as you guys come here, you kind of have this smell in the air. Oh no! Tor, it's it's uh, you're not uh, quite uh, uh, sure uh, what uh, it is. Tor, 
Uh, it is a mix of that because he has been flatulating probably. I said I do that when I pray in the morning. <laughs> so you're mistaken. It's... Oh, Tor. Those meat pies and that jerky. <laughs> Did you eat any of the jerky? I haven't eaten anything yet. <laughs> He's on a hunger strike. Quite. He sounds sad about it. Don't assume <laughs> my intake. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we coast along the road. Is Jason talking? I can't hear him. No, Sorry. no, no. You're fine. I oh, was okay. uh, adjusting something. I think I played the wrong music. No, no worries. I was like, oh no, did I lose the DM? And I'm talking over him. No, you're well, it's good. It's like you're my good. worst fear now that I'm talking over somebody all the time. <laughs> Is Tilly I'm ever going to say Tilly. anything? <laughs> <Get her. laughs> Remember that? Tilly? That was pretty funny. <laughs> only if Tilly would talk to me. If only Tilly <laughs> could say something. <laughs> okay. So um, you guys are kind of like looking for a spot to hunker down for the night. It's getting it's getting late. The sun's going down. Um, I know the map doesn't exactly. No, it looks. It, if you go up high, if you go up, if you go up west, if you head west on this road, um, <laughs> it gets dark. <laughs> it gets okay, dark. right. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Kindle. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Kindle, like he kind of, you know, he he veers off and he kind of motions to everybody. He's like. I did do the wrong. I did do the wrong one. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> switching maps. God dang it. We're ready. <laughs> Hold on. No, we're not switching maps. We're we're. Oh. Uh, I'm switching music. I thought he. They're setting the tone. That's here. the we one. Set I'm setting the tone here. Or we yeah. could set up here. No. Or yeah, anywhere all... in this area would be all right. That is not it either. Huh. Maybe in this area too. <laughs> Don't scare you guys. Don't scare you guys. <laughs> no, I'm excellent. I'm really glad that that's uh, yeah, cool. West, Sweet. westward facing. Don't worry. Is facing west. No one is recording that area, so we're fine. Cool. Why is that so perfect. funny to me? <laughs> We've done this once before. I can't even erase it now. Why can't I erase it? <laughs> That's right. Now you done it. Now you done it. Now you freaking done it. I can't erase it. Got it. Don't worry. <laughs> just gonna move I got it. you. Yeah, just let me just. <laughs> there you go. All I right. I can't erase it. <sighs> so, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Guys. Jeez. Yeah. Excuse oh, me. Man. No, that wasn't. That was me actually talking to you, <laughs> Kindle. <laughs> 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 Hold on, I'm trying to get your campfire real quick. Hold on. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, geez. Uh, I could oh, drop geez. one. There it is. Oh, there it is. It is. I could draw one right here. Oh, Kindle. No, please don't. I don't need. Uh, I don't need you to check the flow. Okay, of the <laughs> the flu. And the chimney stacks, I'm good. <laughs> I'm okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thanks, though. Uh, right, uh, Kindle, nice... like, as you guys begin building the fire for the night, um, Kindle kind of like says, uh, yeah, I know, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of like, um, you know, get away from that a little bit. And, uh, I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna post up literally, uh, over here by the road. And, you know, he sets up like a, a few little, like, um, little traps and stuff around the outside. Uh, is it to, cold? To alert. I mean, do it's, we really need the fire? It's. I mean, you you would cook your food, and you would. Uh, it would get cold in the evenings, yeah. Um, honestly, guys. Although this we, summer we should, it grows hot. <laughs> we should probably um, just cook our food real quick and then put out the fire. One, not to draw extra attention. Two, um, let's keep Kendall comfortable. Yeah. Yes. I, you guys don't gotta do that. It's up to you. This dramatic sense I have going on behind me. <laughs> <laughs> dramatic sense. Where are you? You guys seen Tor? Tor, why are you just standing in the road? 
Because I feel something in the road. Oh. They're called that, rocks. That, that, that's, that's you. Dramatic. That's you, Tor. <laughs> you wouldn't feel the road uh, if you were over here. But. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> okay. Huh. Those eyes. What? Nothing. Hmm? What? 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 Nothing. I'm not giving anything away. What are you talking about? Uh, huh? uh, okay. All right. Um, so I just, I eat a ration. I eat a ration as well. Okay. And try and get some rest. It's, and I ask Kendall, Kendall, you taking first, second, third watch? Uh, yeah, I can, uh, I can handle all that. Actually, I am, uh, I already put some traps up. He, uh, area looks clear. I, I don't know what's going on up north there. There seems to be a little bit of a... You mean west? <clears throat> I'm sorry, yes, west? <laughs> <laughs> You know, being a scarecrow, you just don't even you don't even know what direction anywhere is, even though I'm a ranger. You, and you I would should think have, that the birds would fly south when it gets cold. You would but think, I, but they don't. You just they just fly east. They don't. I can imagine you get spin, spun around a lot when you're just that stick up your ass in the middle of a field. I mean, normally <laughs> I'd be upset about that, but you're right. I mean, it's it's life, yo. It's it's a, some sort of life, something. I'm still here, I guess. You, you are know? here, and to me, you have the biggest heart of them all. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I just got it. <laughs> I, I eat my ration, and then I kind of ask everybody if they're done with their, their food, and if we can put out, the, put fire. out the fire. Okay. Yeah, you can put the fire. I'm like, I'm gonna take a nap. So what put the fire out about? and bite Kindle back. Perhaps, perhaps we. Oh talk well, about I mean, all right, I'll get a little closer, but I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay watch. You know, I got. Oh sure. I still gotta, yeah, I still we, gotta we watch over for you watch. guys. I want to make sure yeah. that you guys don't get, uh, you know, Ambushed. waylaid as it were. Waylaid. We're off the road. Like you're on your way to the Boulder's Gate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nobody wants that. So, unless there's something else, I go to sleep. Okay. Me too. Cool, cool. Tomorrow's going to be a long day. <clears throat> um, you need to roll for initiative? <laughs> no, no. So, <laughs> go ahead and make... You know the uh, history of my sleeping patterns. <laughs> I don't need a sleeping. I don't need a history of sleeping pattern. <laughs> uh, God, you might put on a mask and try to wake me up to scare me. Um, so, so you guys are, uh, you know, kind of able to sleep uh, relatively easily at night, knowing that you're not gonna have to get up, be woken up in the middle of the night for your watch because Kendall's gonna be uh, handling that. Um, but you do kind of have these weird dreams. You start to 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 dream about a mixture of things, things that have happened. Um, but you remember them or you're dreaming about them a little differently. Like, uh, people's names change whenever they're talking to you and interacting with you. People, uh, don't have the same reaction. Um, you buy different items. Uh, the, the, the gold, the prices are different. And the, at some point in your dreams, your, your, uh, Tillian, you uh you feel like pressure on your chest and when you wake up you see the dolls that were in your pack uh standing on your chest like they're alive oh, fuck you not, not into it yeah <clears throat> um Tom, some creepy you, shit right there you as well yeah. have this uh your your doll the action figure is riding your little mouse friend uh, it's kind of like that. sleeping on your face, and then there uh, a a bit of a uh, a mouse rodeo ensues, and kind of yeah. makes you uh, you know kind of come to life. Yeah, I slap that thing off of my mouse. Tor, you start to have dreams that you're being lifted up by your goddess. 
and um, you awake floating in the air and you fall immediately as soon as you open your eyes. Holy shit! And then, uh, Kel, you just f have these kind of waking nightmares of things that happened um, in, in the future. So you're remembering the war, you're remembering how it was and the things that you've gone through in life and you're just kind of like having like a restless sleep. You're still getting a rest, but you're just, you're having, you're having a little bit of a, some nightmares and you, you begin to focus on that, that moment where you felt like you grabbed that piece of material and it glue, like went bright white on you. Mm -hmm. And you, you think back to that and that's, you kind of, it draws back almost like a camera and you're viewing your, your memories in that piece of glass. Um, and then you kind of you kind of get startled and and, and get jolted awake. Mm -hmm. I I stand up and knock him off of me and draw out my hand axe. <laughs> um, so as you hit as you touch them, they're like you realize that they actually weren't standing on your chest. They just it, it's almost like somebody placed them on your chest. Like you mm -hmm. like maybe you got them. You know you not slept walk, but you did it yourself. Like maybe mm -hmm. you're sleep sleep puppeteering <laughs> and scary. tom tom you uh you notice that the doll is actually not on your mouse it's actually still in your pocket mm. tor and kel you guys kind of just were woken abruptly kendall kind of overhears this and he's like hey everybody all right hmm. uh not really Some, something's going on right now i'm glad yeah, you're awake yeah these dolls came to life. I or appeared to be. Yeah, my quietly my as doll came out. to life, too. Try to look around. What's that? I try to get up as quietly as I can. Oh, okay. Around. All right, you get up, and uh, do you have your cloak on? Or do you, like, yeah. do you sleep in it? Okay. So as you get up, you notice that the cloak, as your weight, your body weight, like, gets um, off of the cloak, the cloak starts to vibrate wildly, and every, all of you can see this uh, staring at him. Um, and the the cloak just kind of like starts to move a bit, like uh, like Doctor Strange when he's doing his little his little thousand calculations <laughs> type thing in, <laughs> in in game. And so it's kind of like vibrating like that, and and it just it doesn't seem to hurt you or anything, but there's something definitely weird going on with your cloak. And uh, Kendall sees this, and let me make a roll real quick. Okay, uh, okay, so yeah, Kendall Kendall looks at you, and he actually the the fire is stamped out, so we'll say that that's gone. And he runs over to you and he's like, he's like, he, he tries to start taking your cloak off. He's like, oh my God, is this, is this a displace of cloak? Did you bring us to displace a cloak in the woods? Yeah, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's a cloak. Wait, where did you get this? Did you find this at the, at the bazaar? He's no. trying to take it off, but he can't. Oh no. Oh no. What? And about that time you start to hear the, uh, the whistling of arrows kind of like whipping past you guys. Uh, get down. <laughs> get down. <laughs> <laughs> Get down, and uh, you, uh, Kendall actually uh, accidentally takes one in the arm, and but he doesn't seem to flinch because it doesn't seem to hurt him. And he looks, and he's like Solomon. He looks around, and, he, he, and uh, he's he's looking around to see what's around. And he says, "Everybody, get down, get ready." I want to try to grab him and like rotate him around me to like put us down nearby these trees. Okay, Kendall. And, okay, so as you do that. One moment, one moment, one moment. You uh, Sorry, you see this handy. black, like this black blur, kind of like fly in between you, and it and it hits Kendall as you're trying to get him. It pushes him out into the um the road, and it rips him away from you. And you begin to see uh, these arrows kind of like just fly at at Kendall, like that direction. And it, and it one of them lands on something, and it sticks. It's almost like it's in hanging in the middle of the air. Mm -hmm. Kel, where's Kendall? And you hear this this cry out, this this horrible cry, and you see this beast in front of you. Let me show you. I just like point towards the road. Okay, I draw both rapiers and move in. Yeah, I'm gonna circle Whoop. around. And this is what you see: this giant cat with six oh, legs come on. and two tentacles that are flying out in a tail. And it looks like a mixture between a pan, like two panthers slapped together with some tentacles. And these tentacles have spikes that are just kind of dripping with some what sort of a goo. 
Yeah, I pull and, my sword, move it. And Kindle so. immediately uh, begins to yell, Take off the cloak! Take off the cloak! And, uh, and you see, actually, another one. Another one? Yeah. Another one. Another one. Bites the dust. I am having some serious issues with roll 20 tonight, guys. I'm sorry. Kendall, I don't really think I have time to do that. And uh, right. this one this one grabs Kendall, bites him, and like drags him off as this one kind of uh, whimpers from that from that hit, and it kind of jumps into these uh, these bushes, but you can't see it. So it's gone? It disappeared after it got hit. Ugh. But uh, <clears throat> your cloak is going haywire. It, it's almost like it's flowing like with wind, like full hurricane winds, like like flapping in the back. Like it's 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 reacting to this animal. Shit. And that's where we're going to end night. <laughs>